You're going to get into it right now. Please give it up for Jim. Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, so, um, as you mentioned, my name is Jim Macoso, and uh, I have been the I'm, I am the co-founder and the vice president of Lucid Lab Group. Um, I got into the industry back in December of 2013, the month after they voted for legal recreational cannabis in Washington and Colorado. Uh, a friend of mine was living in Washington. I had a little money. He asked me to come out and see what was going on. And uh, you know, a few weeks later, after writing a business plan and investing in a company, uh, I got my start. So one of the things that makes our company unique, we focus specifically on technology um, and intellectual property as it pertains to extraction. Uh, as Seth just mentioned, we focus on a specific type of extraction uh, for our consumer branded products, but we are uh, and have been uh, an authority, for the lack of a better word, on, in the extraction space on the West Coast for the last four years uh, under our company Lucid Oils. One of the things that makes us unique um, as a company uh, is we kind of look at extraction twofold. Because it's a new industry, we focus on two main avenues in our business, and that is creating the capital equipment and technology to produce oil, and then on the flip side, uh, creating uh, under our own brand and also for other brands, uh, extracts uh, and extract products uh, for the market, for the consumers. Um, and that's been a very profitable business for us. Obviously, we're here at the Revel Capital and Cannabis event, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the capital component. Um, I got my start as a professional in finance here in New York, uh, worked for Fidelity Investment here and in Boston, and then worked for a small company uh, on 28th and Park called Euro Pacific Capital. And really that kind of gave me my love for business in general, deal making, specifically analysis of new markets, uh, which is where we've always seen the most opportunity uh, from a capital standpoint. In starting our business, we kind of went to extraction specifically because you know, when we first started, everybody was really, really focused on the grow side of it, which, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a flower enthusiast, so I know a couple good growers. Even though we have the recreational market where I can walk into a store and, and buy any product, I still go to the homie who grows 30 plants and loves every one of them and produces the best quality cannabis that I can consume, and, and that's what I consume. But from a business standpoint, we saw the most opportunity with uh, the extraction space. So I'm sure a lot of you know who are professionals in the space. There's really, when it comes to the capital side of the industry, there's really like three main aspects of the business that people look at. Cultivation or the growing side. Then we have production or extraction. And then we have the retail side of it, taking those products, selling them to the consumers. Uh, and of course, there's a lot of verticals within that. But when we think about it as professionals, that's really kind of what we think about from a capital standpoint cultivation, production or extraction, and retail, selling it to consumers. We chose extraction when we first got into um, on the business side of it, primarily because it was really fun to take hundreds of pounds of weed, stuff it in machines, and make oil come out. I don't know if you guys have ever watched the rain, but making it rain cannabis gold uh, is something I enjoy and get to do as a living. Uh, I pay taxes, and I have health insurance for me and all my guys. So, uh, you know, that's a W. I'll take that victory. Um, <laughs> thank you. Well, we, <laughs> we decided to focus on extraction specifically because when we first started four years ago, um, in the extraction as Lucid Labs, we already owned a vaporizer company called Vuber Technologies, where we were taking products from China that people were using as e-cigarette products, and we were putting cannabis in it instead of e-juice, and it worked. And what we saw was an opportunity, an opportunity to get involved in a space that was new with a very small amount of capital and hold a, a pretty decent sized market share in a new market, in a new space at a time where, you know, kind of the tides were turning. And that was a very unique opportunity for us. You know, we got to start with a very small amount of capital. Um, we had one investor and me and my partner. Uh, between the three of us, we raised, uh, you know, we raised. We asked for a quarter of a million dollars from that investor, and we took our own money, and we bought equipment. We took our relationships and our partnerships and uh, partnered up with companies that can do the heavy lifting on the grow side uh, and rely on us to build the laboratory, create the intellectual property, create the brands behind it in order to start selling products 
uh, and, and really our focus from the beginning was the highest quality product. Uh, Seth mentioned distillate is kind of our expertise. Um, you know, in that process of building kind of this extraction component, we found that there were no companies or there were very few companies focused on the equipment side of it. So we had to purchase equipment from other industries and kind of repurpose it for extracting cannabis. Um, as you know, uh, or maybe you don't know, anytime you, you take a botanical product and you are trying to extract individual compounds from it, that process, there is some science involved. I'm definitely not a scientist, but I dabble now. Um, but that, that process is very detailed. There's a lot of nuance. And although there's a lot of really good information out there on extracting, say, one gram of oil out of some biomass, in order to do production, take thousands of pounds of material a day, put it through processes to produce oil, in which oil goes into a multitude of products, edibles, uh, concentrate for topical applications, concentrate for dabble applications, vaporizer pens, and everything in between. Um, took a lot of effort, took a really good team, and uh, took a little bit of capital and know-how in order to produce what, what we're doing now. So from a capital standpoint, um, now, in order to get involved in a new space, it requires a tremendous amount of capital to compete. You look at any major state, California, Florida, uh, New York, um, you know, some would say Massachusetts so from a smaller standpoint. Um, you know, Washington and Colorado, we don't really consider major states, but, you know, they've been operating legally for four years under a system, paying taxes. If you look at any of those states, to get in with the half a million dollars, people would laugh at you, which is what we entered Washington with, right? But if you're first to market, it would require a little bit less capital than, say, coming in after the market's already open and trying to buy your way in, where there's already competitors with their shops set up with a tremendous amount of market share. So, you know, I would encourage anybody who's looking at the space, obviously I'm biased. Extraction, in my opinion, is one of the easiest ways um, to get in. If you have a really qualified team with experience, you have some capital, and you have relationships, in other words, partnerships, where people are taking care of the cultivation and uh, taking care of maybe even the real estate and the licensing components of it, um, and you can come in with some capital and focus on the lab, uh, you can do quite well, and uh, in my opinion, is a little less capital intensive than, say, cultivation or retail. So um, that's something I would encourage anyone to really consider when they're looking at this from a capital standpoint. Uh, we think this side of the market, extraction specifically, is going to continue to grow. Um, there's a lot of really great opportunity from the equipment all the way down to the consumer side with brands. And uh, if anybody's interested in hearing a little bit more about that or, you know, just interested in general, of, you know, kind of what I've seen in navigating the market for the past five years, you know, I'll be available to discuss that afterwards. Uh, one last thing, for anyone who is serious about this industry and has the wherewithal and has the time to do it, I encourage everyone, the biggest show of the year is uh, in November uh, 13th, or excuse me, the 14th to the 17th in Las Vegas. It's a marijuana business conference and expo. Uh, selfless plug, I'll be doing a panel on uh, innovation and extraction. Um, uh, we'll have a lot of really great guys up there, but if you're serious about the industry, you want to see what's going on firsthand and really feel the heartbeat of the development from the capital markets all the way down to the consumers, uh, Marijuana Business Conference and, uh, and Expo in Las Vegas in November 13th to the 17th. All the biggest companies are there. All the biggest people are there. Anybody who's serious about it, you really want to see it uh, firsthand, I would encourage you to go there. Thank you very much.